Today, Pope Francis announced major changes that will require all priests and nuns to report sex abuse and any cover-ups to Catholic Church authorities. Now, Corey Rangel has the details on the new Vatican law and why some victim advocates say it's just not enough. I had buried my abuse because he had told me I'd go to hell if, if I told on him. Decades I mean, later, I mean, Becky Ayeni is still I mean, haunted by the years of sexual abuse that happened at the hands of her priest, starting when she was eight years old. This was my darkest secret. After coming forward, she says it took a year and a half for church leaders to agree to a settlement. So I felt like I was on trial for something a priest did to me. Today, Pope Francis unveiled a new law that requires all Catholic priests and nuns to report clergy sex abuse and cover-ups to church authorities. But the new law does not require them to report to law enforcement, something Becky wants in place. Nuns and priests are now mandatory reporters. Well, reporters to who? To religious authorities, not to the police. Every suspected child abuse case should be turned directly to the police. They're the ones who can independently investigate it. After decades of widespread sex abuse scandals, critics also point out there's no punishment for priests and nuns who choose not to report cases of abuse under the new law. Jeff Anderson, an attorney for other victims of church sex abuse cases, calls the new law ineffective. And they have demonstrated for over three decades they are incapable of handling this issue themselves and they do not want outsiders in the closed clerical culture. The new rules also say victims cannot be forced to keep quiet and must be welcomed and listened to by church leaders and offered medical and psychological assistance. The new law starts in June and can be changed after a three-year trial run. I'm Corey Rangel reporting.